Hello everyone, let's introduce the method of characteristics and its theory for first order PDEs. First, let's discuss the types of PDEs. Consider a first order differential equation with two independent variables x and y and one dependent variable u of x and y. The equation is said to be linear if and only if a of x and y times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus b of x and y times the partial derivative of u with respect to y equals c of x and y plus d of x and y times u, where a, b, c and d are functions of x and y. The equation is said to be semi-linear if and only if a of x and y times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus b of x and y times the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to c of x, y and u, so now the right hand side can depend on u in an arbitrary manner. Finally, the equation is said to be quasi-linear if and only if a of x, y and u times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus b of x, y, u times the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to c of x, y, u. So all the coefficients can now depend on u. Note that a linear PDE is a special case of a semi-linear PDE, which in turn is a special case of a quasi-linear PDE. So, linear PDEs are also semi-linear PDEs and quasi-linear, and semi-linear PDEs are also quasi-linear. For the rest of the video, we shall use the more general quasi-linear form. Now, let's state the rate of change along a curve. Suppose we have a curve defined parametrically in the xy plane, i.e. the curve can be written as x of s with y of s for some function x and y with the variable s parameterizing the position along the curve. Then the value of u of x and y at a point s on the curve is given by u of x of s with y of s. The rate of change of u following the curve can be computed using the chain rule, so du over ds is equal to d over ds of u of x of s with y of s, which is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to s times the derivative of x with respect to s, plus the partial derivative of u with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to s. Next. Let's discuss characteristics. Observe that in the special case where we choose the curve such that the derivative of x with respect to s is equal to a of x, y, and u, and the derivative of y with respect to s is equal to b of x, y, and u, we have that the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to the derivative of x with respect to s times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the derivative of y with respect to s times the partial derivative of u with respect to y, by the chain rule, we have that this is equal to a of x, y, u times the partial derivative of u with respect to x, plus b of x, y, u times the partial derivative of u with respect to y, by the definition of the curve, which is equal to c of x, y, u from the PDE. We have then transformed our PDE into three coupled ODEs. The derivative of x with respect to s is equal to a of x, y, and u. The derivative of y with respect to s is equal to b of x, y, u. And the derivative of u with respect to s is equal to c of x, y, u. The special curves given by x of s with y of s are known as characteristics. Given suitable boundary conditions, we can, in principle, integrate this ODE system along the characteristics to find the solution for the PDE. Note, there are many characteristic curves covering the xy plane. Also, note that for linear and semilinear equations, a and b do not depend on u, so we can solve the first two equations for s of x and y of s first to obtain the characteristics, and then solve du over ds is equal to c of x, y, u on each characteristic afterwards. Further, Note that if c is equal to 0, then the derivative of u with respect to s is 0, so u is conserved, i.e. constant, along each characteristic, but different characteristics can have different values of u. It often makes sense to eliminate s from the equation, so we divide through by dx over dy or dy over ds. Then, let's talk about boundary conditions and the domain of definition. The boundary conditions for a PDE with n independent variables typically involves specifying the dependent function u and or its derivatives along the subsets of the n by 
minus one dimensional space of the independent variables. For two independent variables x and y, the boundary conditions will be applied on a 1D curve gamma in the xy plane. For first order equations, we will provide a value either for u or the partial derivative of u in the direction normal to the curve. This is known as Cauchy data. We typically define the curve gamma parametrically, writing x, y is equal to capital X of tau with capital Y of tau for some tau in the range from the minimum tau to the maximum tau for some given functions capital X of tau and capital Y of tau. A boundary condition on u is then given by prescribing the values u naught of tau that u of xy takes at the point capital X of tau with capital Y of tau for each tau. We would write this as u of x of tau with y of tau is equal to u naught of tau for tau in the range from the minimum tau to the maximum tau. To solve the PDE, we can imagine integrating du of ds along the characteristic in the xy plane starting from the boundary curve. The part of the xy plane that these characteristics reach is known as the domain of definition of the solution. The boundary conditions do not define the solution outside the domain of definition. Following on, let's mention the determination of partial derivatives from boundary data. A necessary condition for us to be able to solve a PDE in the neighbourhood of the boundary curve gamma is that we can uniquely determine all the partial derivatives of u at each point on gamma. For a boundary of the form u of x of tau y of tau is equal to u naught of tau and the pd a of x y u times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus b of x y u times the partial derivative of u with respect to y equals c of x y u that specifies the function value, we can test if this is possible as follows. First, the PDE itself gives us a relationship involving the partial derivatives at point x of tau y of tau on gamma, namely a of x y u naught times the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus b of x y u naught times the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to c of x y u naught. Secondly, we can differentiate the boundary condition with respect to tau to obtain the partial derivative of u with respect to x times dx over d tau plus partial derivative of u with respect to y times dy over d tau is equal to du naught over d tau by the chain rule. These two equations can be combined into a single matrix vector equation like this where ux is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to x and uy is equal to the partial derivative of y with respect to y. The matrix and the right hand side are all known quantities from the equation and the boundary condition. This is therefore an equation for the partial derivatives u, x and uy. We have a unique solution for ux, uy if and only if the determinant is non-zero, i.e. if a of x, y, u naught times y dash of tau minus b of x, y, u naught times x dash of tau is not equal to zero, which is equivalent to saying that dy over dx, which equals y dash over x dash, does not equal b of x, y, u naught divided by a of x, y, u naught. Since the characteristics have gradient dy over dx equal to b over a, this is precisely the condition that the boundary curve gamma is not tangent to a characteristic at the point xy. And as ever, thank you for watching.